Hey everyone, it's Justin here, and I'm bringing you guys a Warcraft 3 tutorial on how to use multiple terrains when making maps. So, um, first of all, you're going to need the Throws and Throne expansion pack. Uh, sorry for all of you, uh, Reign of Chaos fans. I'm personally a Reign of Chaos fan, but I have the Throws and Throne just because it has much more advanced editing that uh, also affects your Reign of Chaos game. So, um, first of all, um, you're going to want to be on your tool palette so you can use multiple terrains. Um, let's just start off with a nice grass terrain here. Okay, so this is in the Summer Lordaeron palette. And um, second of all, you're going to need to go to Advanced, and uh, there will be the Modified Tile Set. Now, I believe there's multiple ways to edit uh, different terrains in, but um, I found this one to be the most efficient and um, pretty much how they wanted you to do it. So, um, once you're on here, you'll see I'm on Basic uh, Tile Set Lordaeron Summer and it'll show you all of these um, different tiles that you're using in this set. So, um, the red square means that it's like the basic tile, uh, the, a basic tile of that set, and it cannot be moved or changed. So a lot of tiles from other sets you can't actually um, move into here if they have that red thing, because they're the basic tile, and they don't want you like switching it and stuff. So. Um, so we're going to want to put a few different tile sets in here into our new map. So let's go to use custom tile set. And um, you'll see down here additional textures. And um, you can now uh, pretty much move them up and exchange uh, which ones you want to be in your map. So um, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of grassy dirt. So let's remove that tile. And um, as you can see that freed up two spaces for us. Um, right here will be the total texture space used. And as you can see, all these are two, so they all use two texture space. And here's the total texture space remaining. So we can add up to three. So um, here's a one and a two. But uh, let's say we don't want to use Ashen Veil, we can use something like Barrens. So uh, here is Dark Desert, okay? It's a uh, two space, let's add that up there. And uh, we now have added a, another tile to our set. So you're going to want to just press OK. And it's going to take a second to update here. Okay, here's our tool palette, and uh, let's press the Dark Desert, and voila, you're now able to use Dark Desert in here. Now you can do this for any other any other um, terrain set, but um, unfortunately, like I said, the red the red box or the yeah the red boxes mean that you're not able to move it over into a different tile set like this. So. Yeah, that's that's the thing that kind of sucks about it, cause uh, there is some nice tiles like um, ice and like winter things, and then there's obviously the base set tiles for every other set um, that you're not able to uh, import. So um, yeah, guys, I hope this tutorial helped you. And um, I just recently learned this a couple days ago, and I thought it was interesting, and I wanted to share it with you guys since it was kind of hard to figure out since it wasn't very clear, but um. I think this is probably the first video that there is of this, so uh, hopefully it, it helps you guys and uh, you make some better maps. So yeah guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in another Warcraft 3 tutorial.